Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you. Today we're going to be taking a first look, straight box opening, whatever you want to call it, I like to call them first looks, at a power supply which is a silver power, 460 watt, uh, it's 80 uh, plus gold rated. Um, it's one of their green power range, but it's also, the main reason why I've got it is because it's fanless and this is going to be uh, the power supply that I'm going to be using in my new home server. Um, and basically, uh, rather than me just chucking it in the server, I thought I'd give you a, a, you know, just a quick look at it in case there's anybody out there that was considering buying it. Um, now the thing is, it's 460 watt, that's still a fairly meaty power supply. You can still run a reasonable gaming rig off of this if you wanted to. The, the passive side of it may get a little bit warm, but at the end of the day, it's got to have been designed to have been run it 100%. So you should, you know what I mean, you should be fine. But just taking a look at the box, we've got a manual here, basically turning the rails and stuff. And uh, from what I'm seeing, we've got uh, two, no, that says that we've got a uh, 38 amp rail on the 12 volt. Um, so yeah, 38 amps, 456 watts is what that's telling me there. Right. In fact, we've got a UK power plug, we look at that bit first. We'll have a look at the cables. That uh, is a green power um, sticker. And the case screws. Right, cables first, then we'll look at the main unit itself. Um, silver power kind of box, you can see there's like two of them together. Uh, gold at the top, obviously to tie in with the gold rated. Now, looking inside, we have some cables. Now, I'm going to take them out of the plastic so that I can show you. I've literally not looked at this. This is the first time I've had the cables out of the box. Now, the first one that fell off is um, it's a Molex to two floppies. And that the braid's a bit thin on that, I would say. But on the other ones, I can tell straight away that it's not. It's actually a stark difference. I think the, the braid is very d different on the two. So the braid on this is a bit crappy. Um, but on the other ones that you're actually going to need, I'm going to uh, unclip it. It's actually fairly good. It's quite dense. You can still see a little bit of the colour of the cables beneath. Come on, untwist. Come, please, please, come on. There we go. Right. So... And still, if you look really carefully, it's not too bad. It's actually the further up you get, when it starts to spread, you can see the cables through. When it's pulled tight, it's not too bad. So the cables are quite good. We've got one, two, there's three Molexes on, uh, sorry, yeah, three Molexes on that one. There's uh, two Molexes on this one. There's one, two, three. Three SATA power connections on this one and two on this one. So it's actually good that they've spread them out a little bit so it's not too, you know, all on one. One of the things I am a little bit concerned about with this though is the, the, the amount of SATAs. One, two, three, four, five. Now I've got seven drives so that could cause me a problem. So I may have to get some Molex adapters for that. We haven't got any more in here. Um, so that's always something to uh, consider when you're um, getting units like this, is to check your connections. Now, the only real bad thing I can say uh, about the cables is, obviously the cables, they've still got coloured wires underneath. And you can see them on the ends, but it's actually, the braid is probably better than the braid that we've seen recently on the Enemax power supplies that we've done. Um, it's a better quality, uh, and there's, if anything, I'd say that there's less cable visible at the end. It's not perfect, but it's still it's more than um, acceptable. We've uh, got uh, the CPU power here, there's a 4 plus 4, and then we've got two uh, 6 plus 2 PCI Express cables. So, uh, two graphics cards really, if you're running two 6 pins. Uh, or you know one on each or maybe one reasonable graphics card I'd say with a 480 watt I'd say you can easily run something along the lines of like a 560 on that to be honest with you something like that 
the new 7870s. Um, I wouldn't go into the 7.9s just for a little bit of overhead room. Anything kind of below that. Uh, 6, 8, 70 and below. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm being over-cautious with that. But do you know that, that's just so that you, you, you don't kind of go sticking anything, you know, mega on there. So for my needs, I can tell straight away that I'm going to need a couple more SATA connectors. So I'll work out how I'm going to do that when we actually build the system itself. But if we have a look at the uh, the silver power power supply itself, you can see it comes in a nice kind of velour kind of suede uh, bag with that gold writing on it again. Gold's definitely something they're playing on hard with this. Now, as we can see, that it's fully modular, so that's where all your cables go in. But if we turn it round, we can see we've got a big um, cut out there for ventilation. There's uh, perforations down here. We spin it round this way, there's perforations all on this side as well. There's even some underneath. Obviously you get them at the back. But the large area at the top where you would expect to see the fan, you can see that it's just all completely open. Now I've obviously not used this or anything yet, but we will we will test it to a certain degree in the... Uh, server if we'll, we'll try the uh, connections it does feel the the cables do feel very Corsair like um, you can tell that the the unit's been made by Seasonic I don't think the cables are interchangeable but anyway so we're going to have that um, what else do we need obviously we're going to need a CPU power so I'm just putting these in so you can kind of see them on there more than anything. Uh, CPU is that one. I'm personally not going to need any PCI Express cables because um, I don't know why am I not going to need any PCI Express cables? I'm not going to be running a graphics card. I'm going to be running on board uh, video, but I'm obviously going to need um, Molexes and SATA power connectors. Have a look at these. We've got that, so I'm pretty much, I know I'm going to need to run both the SATA powers and then also the, the Molex as well. So it's a bit of a shame there's not more SATAs on one, but maybe that's to uh, keep the load down on the rails or something, I'm really not sure. But I know I'm going to have to run a fair few, so it's going to be a bit of a cable mission. But I know the uh, R3 that I'm going to be using is going to be up to it. So we get that in there. I'll put this one in here as well. And then there's also uh, another connector on the bottom for the PCI Express. That's something I've just noticed. There's um, the peripherals for the IDE and the SATA. There's only three at the top. Yet in the box there is actually four cables that can use it so you will have to choose your connectors um, you will not it doesn't it's quite a strange one that you can't use everything that comes in the box um, so yeah that for me does seem like a strange one but it's something worth noting uh, once it's on that once they're on there I think we'll easily be able to make a, um, a tidy system of it it's a shame about the color of the cables but anyway that is our first look at the uh, Silver Power, and it's the SP-S460FL. Um, and you're going to be able to see this being used in uh, very soon in uh, my new home server upgrade. It's nothing to do with the website, it's just my central unit for um, yeah, my home server network, basically. So, let me know what you think about this, guys. It's quite quirky about the fact that we've not got a fan in there, um, but it could be uh, great for anyone that like, wants a really uh, silent rig, although um, it's not like the power supplies nowadays really make a, a lot of noise anymore. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you.